Hello viewers, how are you all? I wish everyone is okay. I am also okay. And today I am going to show you another router OS. It's called Zero Shell Linux router. It's based on Linux. So uh, at first you want to know uh, how, what is this? It's uh, one kind of Mikrotik router OS. Uh, you can uh, use it as a manageable router. If you have old PC or old laptop or anything old uh, uh, computer, then you can uh, easily install it uh, with this device and manage your home network connection or office network connection like manageable router. Okay, at first you want to download uh, this OS. Uh, for uh, you can uh, inst uh, you can download this version for the ISO if you want to install it Raspberry Pi or any other device then here is the all option uh, uh, installation media is here you can easily download and install your media I, I don't have any other system or anything else so I am hosted with VMware so I am download the zero shell ISO latest release and uh, you can see here which kinds of hardware it support you can see here orange PC uh, PI PC plus raspberry pi orange PI zero and many more supported options is here and here you can see the supported option which is under working okay then let's go directly our uh, vmware i'm already downloaded it and tested it so let's uh, start it from the beginning at first i am going to uh, host a new machine with the with this iso click here a new machine click uh, here the new machine and leave it typical recommended and click next then select the ISO image from here my ISO image is this new folder and zero shell you can see here the zero shell is uh, it's 2.2 uh, 280 MB 279 megabytes okay then uh, click it open and click next uh, leave it as it is click the other and version I am use other then click next here is uh, write the name zero s h zero shell and then next uh, change I am changing the location where it is host and click next click continue uh, it's 8 GB is recommended it's enough for this OS then click next I am changing the um, RAM uh, read only memory is 1 GB then click finish and power it on okay you can see this interface and click one, uh, write 1 and click enter it's a normal startup and wait some uh, seconds minute or couple of minutes depend on your system configuration where you install it okay now is uh, now here is some uh, important um, uh, no notice a notice you can see here a IP address user admin and password zero shell but we are going to install it in our system so click uh, so you can see here install manager profile manager shell prompt reboot shutdown utility Wi-Fi manager change admin password here is all menus is here like uh, winbox micro tick uh, router OS uh, and uh, I am going to install it uh, right here a for install it and uh, I'm uh, just enter here for default uh, one write one and enter here for default here uh, ask about yes or no I am right here yes and click enter here just uh, leave it enter and click enter it's start to install here you want to wait a minute for uh, complete the installation process
which uh, here it asks about the uh, create a profile yes and create a profile default profile name I just write uh, my channel name PECS tech support then click enter example enter enter and enter and enter okay management interface uh, okay enter and here is the important uh, uh, space here uh, if your router have uh, the audio IP address is the static then here you want to configure it manually my router IP address is static so I am uh, configure it manually if you have uh, the dynamic configuration then you can see here the uh, dynamic IP address by default you no need to configure it or uh, or you can uh, or you want uh, you can do it manually configured so I am here manually configured uh, the IP address my IP address is assign 10.10.10.6 10 10 10 and uh, invalid IP sorry uh, okay 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 5 okay now it's uh, right IP and then my DCP uh, networks is 255.255.255.0 and then the gateway is 10.10.10.1 10 10 installation process please any key to terminate part from man okay then you should uh, reboot it and file okay now i am going to check uh, um, our router get ip properly yes or not here is my home router microtik and i can see here the router get this ip is properly 10.10.5 get properly okay then we are going to hit with this ip 10.10.10.5 Viewers, you can see here uh, the router OS uh, pages start here, and username is here, admin and password. You can see here as it is admin and zero shell. Okay, then I am right here. Here the zero s h e double -L, zero shell. Viewers, you can see here. The router OS is, is running perfectly. You can see here is as like as uh, Microtik OS. Here is the setup menu. Here is the log, and then here is the utilities. I don't know many more with this router OS. I'm just install it for the review purpose. Here is the main page, and here is the user group list view add uh, okay and group radius here is the radius server and here is the accounting uh, if you want to make uh, business with Wi-Fi then you can use it as a accounting here capital portal host router router uh, the default gateway and uh, DNS if, if you want to uh, uh, select your uh, personal DNS or uh, something else uh, then DHCP server here VPN as like as I think it's a manageable router all applications are all modulator is installed here and here is the net balancer if you have uh, the two 
or three uh, incoming connection then you can get balance with this uh, OS and firewall here is the HTTP proxy and I don't know what is this uh, maybe it's a login profile and keyboards okay then if I, if I am going to first page then here here is lot of menu I don't know who is the what is this and uh, I am uh, first time use it so I uh, I am uh, make a, another video with this uh, uh, router OS to know everything and understanding everything then I make a, another video with this OS so thank you very much for uh, view this uh, video uh, if you have any question then com uh, comment below and I am trying to answer your question if I am know about this. Thank you very much. Stay tuned with my channel. Have a good time.